Right. So I'm going to get no thumbs up uh, for saying this. And I don't mean thumbs up in the literal literal sense. I mean, people are not going to be supportive of what I'm going to say. And people are not going to like what I'm going to say. And that's fine because I believe in freedom of speech. But a year ago, when Laurie Vallow and Chad Daybell were getting away with their crimes, and I said, if Laurie Vallow was an African-American woman, she would be charged already and she would already be doing time for murder some people not everybody some people were very angry with me and one person was really angry with me saying how dare you bring race into this i'm not bringing race into it well i can tell you if i was in Lori valo's position i would be doing time i would be doing a multiple life sentence already and that is what i mean by privilege She's used her talents for manipulation and her privilege to um, pretend that she is mentally ill when she is not insane in any way, shape or form. She knew what she was doing when she had her kids killed. She knew what she was doing when she had her husband killed. She knew what she was doing when she was on the phone talking to... Um, Melanie Gibbs about life insurance policies and quoting Bible scripture and all kinds of crap. This is a very manipulative woman and she's going to get away with murder. Um, and I was hoping that I was wrong about this. I was hoping that I was wrong. And, you know, when the charges were brought forth just, you know, a few weeks ago, whatever, I thought maybe I'm wrong. Maybe justice is finally going to happen. And it turns out that I was actually right the first time and I shouldn't have second guessed myself. Loi Vallo has used her privilege. She's used her manipulation skills. She's used her feminine ways to get what she wants. And we're not going to get justice in terms of Loi Vallo. She'll keep manipulating. She'll keep, um, you know, using tricks to get out of trouble. This woman is pure cold-hearted and evil and um you know she's used her privileges to get away with her crimes so we're not going to get any justice in terms of Lori Vallow but I do want to talk about the Lifetime movies um that are coming up and that I've that I've come that I've watched so the first one is um I think it's called Doomsday Mum that is the Lori Vallow movie um that's coming up soon. I'm very intrigued to see what Lifetime has done with that story. Um, I've always been a fan of Lifetime movies and true movies. I sometimes prefer to watch Lifetime movies over actual big Hollywood blockbuster films because I like true life stories. So um, that movie's coming up. Doomsday Mum is coming up in a few weeks or in a while. And the other one that I just watched is Gone Mum which is the story of Jennifer Dulos. And that's a, that's a crime case that I was really interested in um, before her husband, who was charged with her murder, um, before he committed suicide. Um, when he committed suicide, Fotis Dulos, I was just so angry and annoyed. And I was actually willing to give Fotis Dulos the benefit, benefit of the doubt. But I absolutely believe now that Fotis Dulos murdered his wife and I absolutely believe that Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Dulos is deceased. Um, she's not hiding somewhere. She's not gone away. She's not, you know, she's not foiled a plot to to um, fool people. Like her husband's lawyer said, no, she was murdered by Fotis Dulos. And I don't know how much involvement his girlfriend had. The girlfriend who's currently serving time in, in prison or jail or whatever, um, or being held in jail. Um, so I watched the film Gone Mum with Jennifer Dulos, um, with the woman portraying Jennifer Dulos, and uh, it wasn't the best Lifetime movie I've ever seen. It was certainly watchable. I enjoyed watching it. I mean, I always enjoy, enjoy watching Lifetime movies, but I would say out of all the Lifetime movies I've seen, it wasn't my favourite Lifetime film. However, it did get the job done. It did do, the movie did what it needed to do. And which is basically revise the story with a, you know, with embellishments and and, and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, it was a good quality, it was good quality. 
the actress who played Jennifer Dulos, I think she did a decent job. The actor who played her husband did a decent job. Um, but I think the I think the storyline could have been developed a little bit more. But I know that they only have a certain time, amount of time to get you know these movies done in terms of you know time frames. Um, I also watched the Chris Watts movie when it came out. Uh, I thought I actually thought that the Chris Watts film was actually quite good. Um, I actually thought I, I mean it wasn't perfect. Um, the the girl who played Shanann, I found her to be a little bit annoying um, and superficial, um, and she probably didn't capture all of Shanann, but I think she did her best. And I think the guy who played Chris Watts was very very good at capturing um, his mood, his tone, his depth his lack of emotion um and so i did enjoy the chris watts movie and i i have watched it several times since the chris watts lifetime movie came out i thought they did a very good job of that i think the girl that they got to play nicole kessinger did a good job as well and i really actually enjoyed that film um still not the best lifetime film i've ever seen but it was a good good film but i'm really looking forward to seeing um a doomsday mum you know a lot of people think that that Chad Daybell is the mastermind of, in, in, in all of this. I don't believe that. Um, I think Laurie Vallow is the most manipulative person that I've ever encountered, like that I've ever read about. I think that she is by far the most dangerous human being, the most dangerous woman at least that I have ever read about, that I've ever researched. This is a very, very manipulative, very, very dangerous uh, woman and Chad Daybell is very dangerous as well, but I, I honestly think that Laurie Vallow is the manipulator, and we see her doing that now. I mean, we see her with the mask, we see her um, playing the mental illness game. Chad isn't doing that, at least not yet. At least not yet. So I really do think that she's the manipulator, and she's going to get away with murder, unfortunately. And unfortunately, I was right about her. That upsets me and saddens me very much because she doesn't deserve to be in a mental health facility she deserves to be in prison for the rest of her life as i would be if i had committed the crimes that she had committed but privilege wins privilege wins